Hi guys, I'll try something new today and that's why I welcome you to the first ever episode of my 5 Minute Friday. Why 5 Minute Friday? Because every Friday from now on I'll try to answer your programming related or Java related questions. 5 minutes maximum each video and you can send in these questions during the week either via email and you'll find the email in the comment section or just reply to this video. And the questions can be anything Java related. It can be plain core Java, it can be Java and databases, it can be um, Java and frameworks, Spring, whatever, J2E, whatever have you, deployments, build systems, onto, let's say, agile development, uh, project management, all that kind of stuff. Anything that you like to get an answer for, I'll try my best uh, to answer. And if I don't have any questions like today, for example, for our first episode, I'll just uh, get on Reddit, browse the Java subreddit and see what questions people have there. Right, now that's already 1 minute 20 seconds gone. I'll, before I answer, start answering questions, I just want to show you something. And uh, what I did is, one of my latest courses, I just finished it or published it on my website. Please watch the free preview, I'd like to get your feedback. It's all about easily accessing databases in Java with Juke. If you're fed up with Hibernate, JPA, whatever, a simpler way of accessing your database could be Juke. It's very database first, very SQL oriented. And what I think a great way of or an alternative to just uh, plain JPA. In any case, I don't want you to bore you that long with that uh, stuff. Let's have a look at the first question from Reddit. What to focus on after four years? So obviously, um, the poster has been working with Java for four years and now he wants to know, should I become an expert in a narrow area like a contributor of Hibernate, machine learning? Should I have a closer look at more frameworks, Spring, Jakarta E, Acker Play, blah, blah, blah? Should he expand his horizons outside of the Java world, Kubernetes, AWS, SQL, focus on internals, JVM, memory management, and then even learn front end mobile dev, game dev. A whole lot of options and possibilities. So maybe I start from the back. What I think is um, if you've been working for in Java with business applications, so you have your Java web server front end connector database, it's very unlikely that you can just say, let me focus on game development the next four years. Um, not entirely impossible, but uh, rather impossible, actually. Yes, front-end obviously is a choice. A mobile dev could be could also work if you have a mobile app in-house for your um, server application. But in general, what I would try to focus on, most people try to go breadth first. So they try to learn as many frameworks and tools and hype trains uh, as possible. And I like to be depth first, actually. So when you look at Hibernate, for example, I know a lot of people who've been working with Hibernate for quite a long time, but are still somewhat flabbergasted by what it's doing and think it's magic. Same with Spring, same with Spring Boot. And the thing is, the Hibernate book, there's uh, the Manning Hibernate in Action or Persistence with Java in Action, is around 500 pages, and it teaches you everything you might ever want to know about Hibernate. Question is, are you going to read these 500 pages? And that doesn't mean I think that Hibernate is the best choice, but it just illustrates that you need to put in some work to get up to speed with Hibernate fundamentals, Spring fundamentals, Spring Boot fundamentals, everything basically. And instead of just hopping onto the next framework, the next language, whatever is basically hypey and trendy every week, I would suggest you go depth first and uh, not get lost entirely and always have an open mind, but just try to understand the basics. And especially with business Java development, you've got Java and you've got databases. And databases are always a big topic because they're SQL. Most developers don't know how to write proper SQL statements, databases, how they react, the features they have, and uh, not just using databases as a database, data dump, but actually using all their features. So there's a ton of stuff to learn, but in general, the advice is, and now I've got two seconds left, from wider to smaller, just concentrate and learn stuff while keeping an open mind for new trends and whatnot.
Right, I thought I could answer more questions, but unfortunately we have five minutes, 12 seconds already. That's it for today's Friday. You know what to expect. Uh, I hope to see you next Friday, answer your questions. Until then, have a nice weekend.